Hey guys, what, it, uh, what is up? It is TP Game Boys here, and we're talking about an interesting topic that we came up with. So, I think, uh, Lucas, tell us what we're talking about. Uh, we're talking about the future of the Modern Warfare series. Uh, that's a big deal because, you know, how, like, all the campaigns are good, and we're, we kind of want to see if they make another uh, Modern Warfare and see if it's the campaigns are as good as the last. Jimmy? Right. So, like... Really, this idea, it was kind of like an original one. I really didn't, haven't seen anybody else doing it lately because, you know, Black Ops 2 is really big right now. But I figured this would be a cool video to make because a lot of people don't know. It's kind of a big mystery. Like, it's really debatable. It's, qu it's questionable at best, you know, if they're going to make another Modern Warfare game. And I don't, I don't know what else they could do. I mean, we visited almost every era in war. We've done most of the stuff we could possibly do. I can't think of much else more for us where, for us to go. So what I assume would be the, the obvious course of action would be to continue the Modern Warfare series. Not like, with, like you know how they kind of re have rebooted Halo with Halo 4? Do something similar with the Modern Warfare series where they kind of... It's still the same era, and perhaps a couple of the same characters make a comeback. I mean, there's always yeah, no one left, but, it, you know, if Price is... A prequel would be cool. That'd be, you know, yeah, like like Captain Price because, before... Um, like in that one Call yeah, of Duty 4 mission? You have to look at it. Right, kind of like that, where... Like, the Modern Warfare series was the greatest selling... I, I think it was, was the greatest selling series of all time, wasn't it? It is. It's the most most profitable... Uh, gaming yeah, series so, I mean, of all time. Yeah, theoretically, it would be a good idea for them to make another Modern Warfare, right? Because people people don't realize that they're a business too. You know, they're people are like, well, they're just in it for the money. Well, that's true. You know, they are a business. That's kind of that's what they're doing. Their job. Know, they're, they're they are in it for the money. I mean, do they care about their game a little bit? I'm sure, but they are in the, they are in it for the money. You know, there's no denying that, and you really can't get yeah. mad at them. This is that. how they put food on the table. You know, it's just yeah. how it works. And what I'm really, like, how the reason this is so debatable is, from a, a multiplayer standpoint, it's easy. It's the easiest thing in the world to make another Modern Warfare game. But campaign's the problem. The problem is, you know, how do they make another Modern Warfare campaign? And I had a pretty cool idea. I'm going to share it with you guys, and maybe, you know, Nathan and Lucas can give me some input. But I thought would be really cool would be, you know how McMillan, the guy from the Call of Duty 4 mission, who was with Price, got injured in Call of Duty 4? Oh, like, and now in, in Modern Warfare 3, mission. he was like base plate. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? You know how uh -huh. he became base plate, like the leader of the Special Forces? Yeah. They could do something like that, or we could go into the near future, like, or even the later future, and have Captain Price, now that he's killed Makarov, spoiler alert. <laughs> You're not supposed to give us Be, like, alert the leader of the new state, special forces. <laughs> I know, I know, that's why it was funny. But, <laughs> so, like, have him become the new leader of the special forces, kind of like how Shepard was and McMillan was as base plate, and have him, now that he's rebooted Task Force 141, find the new group of greatest warriors on the planet. And I think what would be okay. really, really cool would be, you know, you're on some mission, and then all of a sudden they're like, all right, we're going to send you to the Czech Republic to do this. And you go to the Czech Republic, and, you know, something goes wrong, and you need to escape, and you're going through this, like, uh, you, while you're escaping, you're going through, like, a hospital. And you hear, like, a name. You hear, like, uh, like something, kind of like a doctor going over something, and you, like, kind of turn and, like, pan off, like, still in, like, gameplay format, but your character's, like, turning, like, force, is for, forced to turn. And he walks in this room, and boom, Soap McTavish is in, like, a hospital bed. Like, that mind blown right there. He's in a coma after, like, he lost so much blood, went into a coma, and, like, a doctor, like, helped him after Price and Yuri left. That would, that would be pretty And that'd be no really one cool. knew. But... And they could pull that off. They could Infinity easily pull War that off. They've booked another game, haven't they? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yes, yeah, they I have. So. Or definitely and what's, another game. But, like, it, what, what are other possibilities for, like, what could they make, you know? Would it be something... Because I, I like the modern series, you know? I think it gives Call of Duty that 
little extra thing. You know how it alternates every year, so it gets it's different. You know, you get the you know back in the day it was a World War Two and then Modern Warfare, so it gave it that little you know that little something something. Right. So. You, Bit of you know what they they could do like since Treyarch's doing the Black Ops Two, uh, they could do I mean another World War Two game maybe like since Treyarch did Vietnam maybe not but like. Maybe, like, the Korean War or something. Like, maybe they... I think they did that already in the Call of Duty, but that'd be cool. No, Korea uh, would be brand new. Oh, uh, yeah, Korea is up. But the thing is, Korea wasn't that... that so. Right. Korea... Like, my grandfather was in Korea. I mean, he he's told me that most of the time... There were a lot of major battles, don't get me wrong. Korea wasn't, like... like I mean, obviously, on a war standpoint, it was a war. But it wasn't as big as Vietnam or, or uh, modern, World War II. Yeah. So I think, I honestly, like, this is modern warfare, right? This is, like, what's happening. This is, it's not modern warfare. That's actually a weird title because this game takes place in the future, even in Call of Duty 4. Yeah. So, well, yeah, in every single game, it's been in the future for the time period. So, yeah, it's kind of an awkward title because it's not modern. I think, like, a legitimate modern warfare, like, what's going on right now? Like, yeah. maybe in, like, Africa, or, you know, like, oh, obviously... Dude, they could do a like, they, they have to, like, like make it up. <laughs> <laughs> but, or you yeah. could do, like, in Libya or something, make it up and, like, change the country, but have it the same, like, standpoint of I what's mean, going on right a, now. Uh, right. Cool. And war. this is an oh, idea man. that I had. I'm just kidding. Right. This was a weird thing that I had. Like, a weird... I don't know what this thought was, or I don't know what it was. But I was thinking, I remember playing Homefront. Like, that was a great game. I loved Homefront. And I liked that kind of, you weren't a soldier anymore. Oh, I am. All right. Sorry, guys. Maybe that'll be another video to come for you guys, because that's actually a really big idea that I had that I would really like to share with you all. So if you like the video, please click like down below and comment. It means a lot to us, guys. And, yeah, thanks for watching the videos. Yeah, Lucas going ham in the paint. Or Nathan uh, that was Nathan. That was Nathan. I, that was Nathan. I, my Spencer stories was good.